baptized by a street car. <laughs> That is 100% what, what she, she said. said. <laughs> as soon as I flip the camera on, too. So these are your roller rocker arms, okay? This is a trunnion, this piece that, that spins that I'm holding. Call that a trunnion. There's two sides to the trunnion. You see this side's flat down here? Yeah. And this side over here is rounded. The rounded side always goes down, the flat side always goes up, and then the flat side is what your poly locks. You see a poly lock? This is called poly lock. This is the nut that's going to turn down on this stud, okay? Yeah. And the flat part awesome. rides against the poly lock like that, okay? Yeah. So you want to take all these rock runners, you want to make sure that the push rod, this is your push rod, goes up in that cup. Mm -hmm. Okay, you slide it down on there. This one, these look like the push rods are awfully long for some reason. This one's like normal and Yeah, the push rods are way too long. That's 60 pounds on the drill. distributor goes down in this hole okay and if you look down in there <clears throat> the camshaft this long stick that you pushed in there mm -hmm. the camshaft has a gear on the end of it can you see the gear on the end of the cam down in that hole mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right so the, the gear on the end of that cam turns another gear on the distributor okay and the distributor um, the end of the distributor gear has a slot that drives the oil pump shaft that turns the oil pump in the bottom of the engine. And this is a primer. This is basically just a piece of a distributor made so that this piece right here goes down, makes contact with that shaft, and turns it. Okay. And this is, we do this so that we can prime the oil system and get the oil pressure up before we ever put it in the car. So when you put this drill motor on this and you spin that shaft, it spins the oil pump in the bottom of the engine and brings the oil pressure up. You can see and if you look at the lifters, you'll see the oil starting to see the little bubbles. Mm. That makes sure everything's got oil in it and all the bearings are coated in oil before you turn it over and start it for the first time. It also makes sure if you've got any oiling problems, you'll find it here before you put it in the car. So that's why when you guys bump it, like the, you bump it, bump it, bump it, and then yep. it falls and it right falls here. In. That's up. exactly right. Yeah, that's why when, when all I tell Billy to bump it, bump Trying it, bump it. Line it up. So right. It Once that distributor lines up with the oil pump shaft, it drops in all the way. Then you know it's in all the way. That's makes exactly sense. right. Just 
lay that in there and let it drain off while we're at Jax. Alright. Explain why we're going to Jax. We're going to Jax because my is it push rods yeah. too long. They don't fit with the rock arms I got. They sit up too high. They are, is it seven? Seven, seven nine. Nine. So we need a Oh, Probably going to have to be at least a half inch shorter. At least a half inch shorter. So how would you know if they're too long? Like, is it well, just the way it sits? No, um, because when I set the when the push rods in, you go to set the rock arm on, there was barely any threads left to put the poly lock on. Should I have enough thread? Yeah, there should be plenty of thread showing. <laughs> Gaskets. Hold the gasket. I put a little dab right there. A dab right there. A little bit around these water ports in the head. That's, a, that's just to hold it? Yeah, basically just to hold it and make sure it seals up good. The heads are pitted a little bit around those ports from corrosion. So I always put just a little bit around those to seal up any pits in the aluminum. Let these set up. Let the silicone tack up before we put the intake on. What a massacre! No, I don't. I hate doing it because when you, what I do is I take it in my hand. I take a hammer, bam, and knock them out. And generally, it warps the valve cover. But <laughs> she's like, "Give it to me." <laughs> but no, Are those. You're recording that. So why do you have to take them out? Like, well, sometimes they don't fit between the rocker arms, so it, fits, yeah. so it fits, and I didn't see that it has those holes to let the oil come down too easy, so they should be all right. Usually they don't have those holes. She grabbed that like it was a baby, like, <laughs> don't let him touch it. Can you throw on now, I guess? Yeah. I think it sits there. keeps everything dusty. I would consider having them hydro dip with a pattern that you want, and then this is just me. I get them aired that, that iridescent. This is just me, but the neighbor right down the road does engraving, and he could engrave Motorsports Molly in the valve covers. That'd be so cool. I think I should do that. Leave them black and just do Motorsports. Well, we can get them hydro dip, and then you can get them hydro dip, and then have them engrave. So you like, can do the engraving so after. Like it's, well, it's well, I don't know if you can do that because these are steel. And no, I mean, are, like, once you scratch it, won't it be it'll like... rust. That's why I didn't want you to get them valve covers. Because these are metal valve covers. So you, if they were aluminum, you could engrave them and it's not going to rust. Okay. Oh, that's light. Okay. Uh, this is very tricky because these heads have been milled so many times that the bolts are a real bitch to get these things to line up. That's why if you notice the bolt holes have been drilled out all along. <clears throat> I just need to make sure I get it on there. Perfect. Started. You see a couple of them really. What I try and do is I get them started in the four corners first. But you don't want to tighten them. You just want to get them started into the cylinder head. Yeah, they're a pain. There's a trick to it. 
What? Nothing. Exactly. Molly's teaching dad. <laughs> Trust me, if I would have put it in there with the washer the wrong way, I would know about it. But since he did it, no, it doesn't really matter. Give me some bolts. You want to know a secret? You know, when I mess something up, it's like five times worse because I have much higher. Like the last time I took the heads off my truck, I had two washers on one head stud. I believe it. That's why. There, that's you. why. You that's why you probably attention. freaked out when you saw one extra washer on the freaking cow when I got done putting it back together. Yeah. You probably like you when forgot you do one. stuff like you think about the next step. You don't focus like really on what you're. Oh, you're going to have a joy living with him the rest of your life, trust me. I have much higher expectations, so when I mess something up, Dad gets pretty mad. Oh. Expects you're the smart more one. of you, basically. Yeah. Not you're the smart one. I'm not even smart. you got all yours, don't you? Yeah. This isn't done right. Shit gets f***ed up. I'm blaming you. I'll accept blame. How tight, just snug? Tight as you can get it. As tight as you can get it with your little paws. Dad, how many engines do you think in your life you've built from the block up? Not that many. <clears throat> More than the average person, at least. I've built like 17. So I know he's built at least 17 himself. Hey, Billy, how many blocks have you blown up? 16. <laughs> His smile just went from like... <laughs> not smiling no more. Guilty. What's wrong, buddy? Yes. I'm happy. There there are no I didn't even know it was ten. There. I didn't know it was ten either. Yeah. Yeah. And it is dark tint and people aren't even gonna know that that will go right there. in there. Yes, sir. Good? Yep. Sir. Yep. I'm gonna this right. isn't rocket science, <laughs> just right. talk. Get on the good dang stairs. <laughs> now hand him the window. Okay. Subtract <laughs> one from the other. It's not rocket science. 96.2. What was it originally? I forget. 91. One, 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 one. So six pounds on the rear. 20 pounds in the front window. And there's about five pounds in the rear. So about 25 pound weight savings with optic armor windows. And you wouldn't even tell the difference. All right, guys. Here's the crazy story of the day. Um, I was getting my windshield put in, my optic armor windows we were putting in, and uh, I get a call from Eric Mans, the driver of Boston George. So Eric calls me, or Boston George, what do you even want to call him? Uh, Eric calls me, and he says, "Hey, man, you're not gonna believe this, but..." Uh, 
I ran out of gas on 70 and I'm taking my car to the chassis shop or fab shop and I'm pretty close to you. I, I need some gas. Could you bring me some gas? I said, yeah, buddy. Just uh, give me a few minutes. So I, I let the, the window guy finish up. And then uh, just about the time I'm getting ready to leave, another buddy calls me. My buddy Kenny that helps me out, he put the bed cover and the wing on my truck. He calls me and said, his Toyota's broke down on 70. Just about the same distance, the opposite way. I said, okay, I'm sorry, man. I got to go get Eric first. So I went to go get Eric some gas. And while I was getting gas, I literally got on the freeway and went maybe a quarter of a mile and uh, got in an accident. So um, it was pretty bad. Um, I didn't hit anybody. I avoided hitting anyone. A uh, semi, I think, missed a gear or something getting on the interstate. Um, somebody behind him slammed on their brakes, causing me, which I was following behind them, I slammed on my brakes. And I, to avoid hitting them, I went left of them and I uh, got into the median, spun it around, and into some uh, wire guard posts, um, and really, really did a number on the truck. So we're gonna um, show my dad. Luckily, you know, I am I would be pretty uh, upset, but it's just a truck. Um, I had insurance, I have gap insurance, so hopefully um, we can get something replaced and. This truck had a lot of miles on it anyways. I put a bunch of miles on it since I'd had it and it was starting to have problems. So it was kind of a, it's an all right deal. So, um, but my dad, my dad's gonna see this truck for the first time and uh, we're gonna get his reaction. I'm sure he's not gonna be too thrilled. A little bit more paint on it here and there. So I'll probably put another coat on it, but we're getting ready to put this on. That looks cool. Hello. What? Just shaved like another five years off that leg. Okay, I'm gonna 